hello students and uh, welcome to the session uh, how are you hope uh, you all are doing well in your academics okay and the, how the preparation is going on great great good you know it's it's always good to have a planned uh, preparation and uh, you should uh, plan your day which is very very important right you should you know check out your uh, weaker points where you know we need to work on right so that is very very important okay so uh, today uh, my dear students will be discussing a topic arithmetic progression and uh, the theory part of this arithmetic progression i will be discussing first if you have any query on that part you can ask me followed by a problem from your side if you have any queries from the in chapter exercise or illustrations from the you know module which we are giving to you so uh, uh, we'll will will take step by step right the so first of all we'll discuss uh, the theoretical part of arithmetic progression so first of all let us understand what is uh, arithmetic progression right so generally uh, you know the arithmetic progression is what so let us take an example 2468 right so you can see here there is a, a common difference there right which is 4 4 minus 2 right there is a common difference so this is 2 we have a common difference which is 6 minus 4 which is again 2 right we have d which is 8 minus 4 which is 2 so whenever there is a sequence where common difference is same we say that this is an ap so this is an arithmetic sequence or this is an arithmetic progression right now my next question the next theoretical part which we are going to discuss is how to add all the terms which are in ap say if i have first term as a second term is a plus d you know these are all the terms which are in which are in which are in ap right so this is how it goes now there are two forms one is n upon 2 right a plus you know an that is we can write in this way also n by 2 the first term plus the last term okay right this is how we write it or we can write it as n upon 2 right n upon 2 twice a plus n minus 1 times d so you can see here there are two forms one is n by 2 first term plus last term and the second form is this now theoretically when you use this particular formula is both the formulas in a particular arithmetic expression we generally get the sum so i hope this particular theory is clear to you if you have any doubts netika you can ask me students okay i need to explain the difference between the two forms again right i need to explain it isn't it okay i will explain you don't worry i will explain you right see students what happens you know this is the first term right this is the first term isn't it and the last term is the nth term nth term is what an is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d isn't it this is what we know nth term so what i do i substitute a plus n minus 1 times d okay so a plus a is nothing but twice a plus this is n minus 1 times d right this is how i write it so you can see that so this is how it we derive i hope this is clear okay great great very nice okay now if you have any queries you can ask me from the module if you have any queries you can ask me yes Okay. 
So you have a question for illustration mind. Okay, right. Okay, let me let me give you the right to speak first. Yes. Yes, I can. Okay. Okay. So let me take the question number illustration mind. Okay. Illustration mind that we take. I think this is the question you have, right? Illustration mind. Is it? How many terms of the series 24, 20, 16? Is it? Total 72. Okay. Let me take the question first. You know, you can see that. Uh, I've taken in the third slide, the third page, illustration mind. How many terms of the series 24, 20, 16? You know, total 72. So, uh, first of all, you know, you need to check uh, whether it is an AP or not. This is a very important thing. So let me check whether it is an AP. 20 minus 24, is it? It is minus 4, right. 16 minus 20, okay, which is minus 4. This is an AP, okay, this is an AP. So we have A is equal to 24. We have D is equal to, you know, minus 4, as I have told you. How many terms that totals? When you say totals, this is a very important thing, totals. This means we are talking about the sum part, right? So that means we know the formula for sum. Okay, let me write the sum formula n by 2 twice a plus n minus 1 times d. Okay. So sum to n terms. So you have been given the sum, right? Sum is 72. We have to find the number of terms, that is n. As I told you, n is nothing but the number of terms. We substitute, we write 72, we take n n need to be found out so n by 2 we have 2 times a is how much 24 plus n minus 1 into minus 4 right this is how we write it okay so fine so i hope uh, you have understood the thing yeah i have how i have substituted right the 72 so 72 we can cross multiply we can write it as n times 48 minus 4n plus 4 equals to, you know, 144, right? So, we can take it, uh, you know, forward now. We can write 48 plus 4. This is 52 minus 4n, right? Which is 144. I can write it as minus 4n square plus 52n is equal to 144, right? You can see the steps, huh? So I'm just writing the steps again. This is the step number one. I have taken all those uh, step number one. I have introduced the formula step number two. I have written, I have substituted all the possible things given to us. And we get a quadratic equation, which is coming out to be 4n square minus 52n, okay, plus 144. So we can solve this quadratic equation. I think mean, if we solve it, we'll get around n is equal to nine. So, quadratic equation, solving quadratic equation is a very easy job. I know, I uh, I think you all know how to solve it. So, you can solve the quadratic equation using the factorization method or maybe the discriminant method, right? Okay. So, I hope uh, this question is clear to you. Great, great. Great. Okay, great. So, uh, uh, students, I hope uh, this particular concept is clear to you and sum to n terms. The illustration I have taken, it is clear. Is it? Great, 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 great. Okay. So, uh, uh, you know, once we do the uh, theory part and we have uh, taken one example also, we have taken your query also. Let, let me give you a problem. Uh, this is a question from my polling, uh, you know, we have a system called polling where I will be set, uh, publishing a question for you, 
and you need to solve it right so i'm publishing for you you need to solve it okay let me give you okay this is a question i have students you know find the sum of 20 terms in the sequence 1 4 7 10 okay right answer is you have given the answer let me option 2 okay okay <laughs> I think the answer is 590, so you can just check it out. The option is A is correct, not 580. Maybe you have done some calculation mistake, you need to work on that. Okay? No issues. Fine? So it's a very, very careful about the calculation part, Nitikya, because you know the calculation plays a very vital role. And you have very less time in your examination, you know. So you have to be very, very careful. You need to practice a lot. Okay? So I hope uh, you know this. Uh, uh, you know, practice practicing and uh, you know taking care of your mistakes always helps. It's a learning process, right? It's a learning curve. Okay, so you do mistake, you learn from that. Okay, then the next test you should not repeat that. Okay, Chala, that's great, great. So let me end the poll. Okay, right. Okay then. So I hope uh, all students present here uh, have understood the concept. We have discussed the things. We have taken a problem theory followed by a doubt. Then I give me a polling question, right? And uh, we tried that. Really appreciable. So I end up this session now. Thank you, students. God bless you. See you. Bye. Take care.